Abador, Fife, Scotland, Hippobotamus. Looks like a hippo, used to be a child sandpit, has a spinning disc, 99 kilos in weight, has a two centimetre ground clearance, and that could leave the hippo bottom of this Robot Wars class. From Branston, Lincoln, Stinger. Grand finalists in the last wars, a whirling dervish of a machine with a spiked bludgeoning device. Four 12-volt batteries are hidden in those wheel hubs. The tyres exposed. Roboteers, stand by. Stinger in the control pod. Kevin Scott, Carl Skinner, Tim Mann. And Hippobotamus at the controls. Richie McBride and there with him, eight-year-old Alex, six-year-old Ellen. can barely peep over the rim to see dead metal in the arena. And Sir Killalot alongside. Three, two, one, activate. On paper, you'd have to say there could be only one winner of this battle, the more experienced Stinger. Trying to wind up a fury with that bludgeoning device. Hippopotamus made out of a child sandpit, essentially, but this is Robot Wars, and we've seen giant upsets in the past. Sparks fly from the grinders on the arena side walls. The hippo sails through the flame pit, trying to stay away from Stinger, and surviving the original onslaught, but not the second one. Bits of the sandpit flew off there. They were hoping to cement a place in the next round. I think that's going to happen now. And it looks as if Stinger will go through. But look at the hippo staying in there, turning away. Alex McBride, eight years of age, operating the weaponry. Hasn't been really able to get it into play yet. That spinning disc on the long arm. Stinger again, an almighty onslaught up to 18 miles an hour. Top speed generated by this machine. Grand finalist in the last series. And Hippopotamus now clawed by Dead Metal. Trying to slice their way through the top there of the Hippo. Looking worried, Richie McBride, a managing director of corporate business development firm. And the top has been separated from the actual belly of the machine, if you like. You can see the innards. Of Hippopotamus. The head is waggling because it's barely connected, to be honest. Stinger now! Oh, back into the CPC! Now, can we yet see a surprise if Killalot grapples hold of Stinger? What a mistake to make! They reversed in there and maybe the clock will save them. So Killalot hoists Stinger up. Well, that was very nearly suicidal driving Six. by Stinger. Just survived because it came about so late. We'll go to a judge's decision, I would have thought.